Welcome to a very special edition of the Gorilla Culinary. I am Count Gorilla, and today I'm going to make for you an amazing adult beverage that I like to call Hot Vampire Blood. <laughs> In case you were wondering what I'm actually making from the teaser, uh, it's going to be my hot vampire's blood. Or red hot chocolate, but hot vampire's blood is far more Halloween-y, don't you think? <laughs> to help me uh, make this lovely adult concoction, I've got my friend Michael as my special guest today. Edward. Edward. Michael. Okay. So what I've got in here is I've got four cups of half and half warmed nicely here on my burner. Uh, you can use, you know, low-fat milk if you want, or you could even go Paula Deen on it and go heavy cream and maybe throw in a little butter if you want it. <laughs> Whatever works for you. So today we're going to use white chocolate, and I've got one cup of white chocolate. Why don't you just toss that in there for me, Michael? Edward. Whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then I want to just kind of whisk it to get it to melt. And it melts pretty quickly because the milk is, is hot. All right, and now for a little bit of kick. You like kick, right, Michael? Oh, yes, not Edward. Okay, whoever. So, why don't you toss in a little bit of cayenne pepper. Just a little bit. Just a little bit, yeah, right? That's, that's a quarter teaspoon. You don't want any more than that or it will be smoking hot. <laughs> Mr. Glitter. All right, and now to add another nice little additional touch, we've got some coffee. Why don't you grab that for me right there, Michael? Oh, Edward. Yeah. This is uh, today's coffee. This is just about a, an eighth of a cup. Uh, if you don't have any leftover coffee, you can put in a, a teaspoon of uh, instant coffee or instant espresso, whatever you want. Adds a little bit of a, you know, caffeine, obviously, but it really, really complements the, uh, the chocolate quite well, I must say. It's really complimentary. Do you drink coffee, Michael? It's Edward. Do you drink coffee? Sometimes. Okay. Yeah. All right. And now I'm going to add a little bit of a fun twist to this. I'm going to do a little bit of an orange zest. Got my orange here, I've got my zester here, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna zest this. What do you oh, think, huh? Oh, yeah. A little bit of a citrus kick to it. It's really nice, it brightens it, and chocolate and orange really, really go well together. They really, they, they're, they're friends. Chocolate and orange, right? Really? Right, Michael? Edward. Kind of about a half of an orange worth of zest in there. Oh, it smells. Oh, but I smell it. Yes, yes. okay, good, good. All right, and then what's the most important ingredient to our, our adult concoction here is our vampire's blood. Can you get that for me, Michael? It's actually food coloring. It's vampire's blood. It's food coloring. It's vampire's blood. It's vampire's blood. That's right. Yeah. So I'm going to add this vampire's blood to my white chocolate, and it's going to turn it into a deep red, and it's going to look amazing. <laughs> Nice and bloody, if you ask me. What do oh, you think? Huh? I think it's pretty bloody. All right, all right. So this wouldn't be adult without a little bit of uh, alcohol. What do you oh. think? Look at that conveniently placed brandy. I huh? agree with you. All right, why don't you pour me a shot in there? All righty. That's what I'm talking about. Dump that right in there, boy, uh, Michael. Looking good, Edward. Oh, yeah. Mm. That smells pretty good, if you ask me. Does it? You ready to try a little bit of a, oh. this here vampire's blood? Oh, yes. That's right. Oh, yes. Cheers. All right, let's give it a try. Ooh. Ooh, bloody. Ooh, bloody. Bloody good. Very bloody. Cheers. Well, for this recipe and others, you can go to uh, youtube.com slash gorilla culinarian or ifood.tv slash gorilla culinarian, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>